hello guys welcome back to yet another lesson and in today's lesson we are going to look into how you can get to draw support and resistance zone into your charts and of course how you get to draw uh, i mean how you get to trade these uh, particular factors so what we'll be doing i'll be taking you through my charts so that i get to show you exactly how i normally do my analysis every single day so i'll be doing all that in order for you to make a good follow-up on what exactly i'm talking about but before you get into that if you're new to this channel i'll just request you to just go ahead you make sure you hit the subscribe button which is just below here also turn on the notification bell so that uh, every time i have a new episode a new lesson i'm sharing with you you always be the first one to be notified of course another thing that i also request you if you are there and you have been struggling with finances and you want to be a profitable trader i recommend you go for pro form and my choice uh, uh myself i'm trading at ten thousand dollar uh, ten thousand uh, dollar uh pro form i mean uh, a funded account so i'll just drop the link in the description section just go check it out in case you need any more clarity regarding this pro form just talk to me and i'll be taking you through as well as in the future in the near future i'll be also be sharing also my daily trades on this program so that you also get to see exactly what i'm talking about so having said that for now uh, let's just head into our chat so that i get to show you exactly how i normally get to trade every single day so here's the thing i'll be using my 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 my, my computer right here so uh, to illustrate uh, everything so that you also get to see what i'm talking about so allow me to just switch to my screen and i get to show you exactly what i'm talking about when it comes to drawing uh, support and resistance there are a couple of things that you need also to get to do one of which you need to uh, make sure you get to draw your, your your zones from a higher time frame so for this case you can see uh, uh, we are, uh, i'm on gbp usd it's a it's a currency pair that i also get to trade but my major i normally get to trade GB, gbp jpy so uh what uh, we need to do first thing first i've uh, switched to four hours time frame you can see here i'm on four hours time frame and uh, since i'm a day trader i get to draw my zones mainly on four hours and then i get to narrow down to maybe one hour to see how things are, are, are unfolding but for now let's just i get to show you how you can get to draw uh, these zones on four hour time frame so get to come to this option right here and get to choose uh, the horizontal lines you can see it's one of my favorite i have placed it uh, somewhere around here so let me just uh, delete that one so what you need to do you need to look for areas whereby the market has touched a couple of times for instance you can see the market touched this area one two also it got to also to touch this other area so you need to look for an area whereby the market has touched that place at least three times so what you do you just draw a, a nice line like this I normally use continuous lines and so let me just make it a bit a uh, bit narrow so what you need to do uh, after you get you can see the market has touched this area a couple of times we have one two uh, also three so you get to uh, draw roughly around uh, area whereby you see the market came from the upper side went down and then it's kind of it got to bounce from that area you get to draw one of the lines there so i'll be doing and uh, as i told you earlier in one of my lessons a zone is usually an area it's not one single line it's an area so for this case you can see i'll just draw this line right here and then from here you can see if i get to zoom out the market uh, uh way back around here you'll see at some point the market also got to come and touch that area and of course got to react you can see uh this is to show you that this is an area which is very very strong so uh considering it is also a zone you can see also around this area the market also got to touch a couple of times so let me just get to draw roughly uh let me just go back to my horizontal line get to choose a horizontal line then i get to draw around somewhere there if you get to go back you can see the market has been struggling to break that area as well as uh once the market got to uh, break this area you can see they got to touch this area one two three times so basically uh roughly that's an area we can get to consider it to be a zone if you get to zoom out the market you can see clearly what i'm talking about so le let us just we get to zoom out you can see clearly there's a market in that region the market got to touch a couple of times you can see around here the market got to go back up then got to uh, have a, a kind of a pullback they got to touch the market the area one two three and of course if you get to come i'm uh, sorry 
if you get to come to swing the mark you get to zoom out the market around this area you can see they also got to touch this area one two three and of course right now you can see the market is already struggling to break past this region so what you need to do if you get to uh, to draw the zones at four hours you can get to narrow down to a bit uh, maybe to one hour you get to adjust the zones accordingly so for this case i'll just uh I'll just uh, get to narrow down. I get to narrow down to one hour and get to adjust my zone uh, according to how I'm seeing the market. You can see, for instance, you can see the market got to touch this area, got to react, and then it got to, it, it had to go up. So, for instance, you can get to also adjust here. We get to see according to how the market we, we saw it play out. So, what I normally do after I get to draw such uh, two regions, a region between two lines, I get then get to come to these, I get to choose a rectangle, and then for the case of the rectangle, I get to fill it for visibility purposes. So, I get to choose it uh, like that. Then, uh, on my settings for the rectangle, I'll be showing you how I can I get to set it up to extend it into, uh, you get to come to this setting option right here, get to extend it to end to end so that you also extend to right also extend to left so like that so whenever i get to move around this market i can clearly identify and of course uh, get to have an easy time to see that this is an area which is very very uh, strong so uh, i advise you to draw two zones above where the market is right now and of course get to draw one above uh, the current situation whereby the market is and of course get to draw another one uh, below where the market you're anticipating maybe to go on a downtrend so for instance uh, uh, with this cup I, I, I could come to these four hours then get to check out an area whereby the market has touched a couple of uh, uh, times for instance you can see clearly I can get to see these are region whereby the market really struggled to break you can see so for that case I would say that's uh, also a valid region uh, uh, that is a valid uh, zone you can see the market after it got to break this area it has really been struggling to break uh, downwards and then you can see also once it gets to break downwards it is also struggling to go upward so basically that's how you get to know whether these are valid zone or also uh, these uh, uh, you have drawn your zone the right way so uh, get to draw a zone either on the above one above where the market is right now and also get to draw another one just below so just to anticipate where the market is going. For instance, uh, with these zones, uh, do you anticipate this market to be on an uptrend or a downtrend? So for this case, I would suggest these uh, are these are market which is on an, an uptrend. Since you can see uh, previously, uh, for the past uh, recent history, the market has been making new high highs. So those are some of the factors that gets to help you to know whether the market is on an uptrend and whether to concentrate on doing the zones either above or either below that particular zone. Hello?